Hello class, in this video we will be talking about 5.5 survey problems and there are 20 problems in this assignment. So um, for all the problems one through three, the directions are fill in the blank so that the resulting statements are true. So in survey problems, the word and or but, both of these words mean intersection. In survey problems, the word or means union. And in survey problems, the word not means the complement. So if I say it's a set, it's in the set of this, but not that, then you're talking about this intersect somebody's complement. Okay. So it's very interesting, all of those words. You have to be very careful. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through some of these problems so that we can see this in action. Now, the Venn diagram shows the results of a GFK Rop Roper public affairs and media survey of 1967 American adults taken on October 9, 2012. Use the Venn diagram to determine whether the following statement is true or false. If the statement is false, make necessary change or changes to produce a true statement. So it says how Americans feel about pets. So this group likes pets, likes cats, this group likes dogs, and then this group doesn't like cats or dogs, okay? So uh, it says 71% of those surveyed like cats. So 71% surveyed like cats. Well, notice liking cats is this whole circle. So 9% plus 62% is in fact 71%. So that statement is true. Now, number five says 62% of those surveyed like cats or dogs. That is incorrect. Um, if you like cats or dogs, then you're talking about the union, which means you'd be talking about this group and this group. So you'd be adding nine plus 62 plus 23, which is actually 94%. So when it says to fix it, you definitely want to change the 62% to 94% because 94% of those surveyed like cats or dogs. Now use the given diagram to answer the following questions. The Venn diagram shows the number of elements in each region. So those are not elements themselves. Those are the number of elements in each region. So it says, how many elements belong to set A? Well, in set A, it's going to be these guys and these guys. So it's going to be 38 elements total. How many elements belong to set A but not set B? Okay, so there's those words, right? Set A is A, but means the intersection. Not set B means the complement of B, okay? So set A is regions one and two, intersect. Uh, B complement would be all the regions outside of B, which would be one and four. So, and that's wrong, one and four. And so then if you wanna find the union, it's gonna be all of these things together. So it'll be one, two, twice, but you only need to write it once and then four. And so if I add up those numbers, that's going to be 28. See what's going on here and not set B. Yeah. So set A is two, one and two. Um, oh, complement. Oh, I'm not doing that one no more. I'm doing... Oh God, I was doing this one. I just erased everything for nothing. Get it together, Jessica. Okay, so we already finished this one. How many elements belong to set A, but not set B? So set A, but not set B. So in A, we have one and two. And in the complement of B, if I cover that up, you get one and four. Then I want the intersection of those two. Well, the only thing that these two things have in common is section one. And how many people are in section one? 28. Now, next problem. How many elements belong to set A or set B? 
So in this case, that's the union. So which regions are in set A? That's gonna be one and two. Which regions are in set B? That's two and three. This makes this correct the way it was. And then if I'm doing the union, it means all of them together. So one, two, and three. And then if I'm trying to find the number of elements in those sets, I'm gonna take the number of elements in this one, plus the number of elements over here, plus the number of elements over there. And that does give me the 67 that I had. So for number nine, it says use the Venn diagram, which shows the number of elements in region two to answer the following questions. So I've got this two circles. It says, if the cardinal number of A is 36, that means that this is 36 over here. Um, the cardinal number of B is 34. Oh, shoot, I need to be careful. This is not what it says. I will mark these numbers in here in a minute. It says that this is 36. And the cardinal number of B, which is this, is 34. And it tells me that the cardinal number of the whole thing is 64, okay? So it says find the number of elements in each region, one, three, and four. So for region one, I know that the whole thing has um, 34, or 36, I'm sorry. So all of A has 36, but since section um, two has 12, I'm essentially just doing 36 take away 12, which is the 24, okay? Now, I wrote it a little bit different here. I wrote that the number for A is gonna be the number for I plus the number for two. And since I know that A is 36 and I know the number for two is 12, I just need to figure out what the number for the section one is. So I minus 12 on both sides and I got 24 is the number for section one. Here, I just did it more informally. Okay, now for region three, same thing, the whole thing is 34, but if I take out these 12, I'm going to get 22. And so the cardinal number for region three is 22. Again, we can do it the long way. We can say that all of this region should be section one plus section two. So each of their cardinal numbers. I know that the cardinal number for all of B is 34. I know that the cardinal number for section two is 12. I do not know this one, so I left it like that. Minus 12 on both sides of this equation to solve for this unknown number. And then I get that that unknown number is 22, which is the same thing I got here. Um, now region four. So region four is out here. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of the universal stuff and take out what you have from region one, region two, and region three. So the whole thing is 64. If I take out the number we got for region one, that's 24. If I take out the region, what we got for region two, well, two was already given. And then if I take out the region for number three, um, that would have been 22. And so what do we get when we subtract all of that? Let's see, 64 minus 24 minus 12 minus 22, I get six. And that's the same thing I got when I did the long way, okay? So I took the universal number is going to be sections one, two, three, and four, all the regions together, right? Because it's the whole box. So then I know the universal cardinal number. I know how many are in, in one is 24. I know how many are in section two. They gave that to me. I know how many are in section three. I figured that out. And I'm just trying to calculate how many are in section four. So I did combine all my like terms together, got 58. I minus the 58 over so I could solve for the number for section six. And I found out that the number of elements in section six are six elements. Now number, well, I think it's like three questions for one picture. So it says, use the Venn diagram, which shows the cardinality of each region. So it's telling me the number of in, uh, elements in each region. It's not saying that nine is an element of A. It's saying that there are nine elements in this region. 
Um, how many elements belong to set B? So set B would be three plus two plus five plus six, which is 16. Okay, so for number 11, we have how many elements belong to set A, but not set C? So again, if I write this in notation, set A, but would be the intersection, and then not set C would mean C complement, okay? So I'm trying to find the number of elements in this region. So what I'm talking about, this one's a little bit harder to, to visualize. So I'm talking about A, what this has in common with anything that is not in set C, okay? So here's C, everything else is the complement. Now, what does all of this share with set A? It's only gonna be nine and three, these two sections here. So the number nine plus the number three, which is 12. Now for number 12, it says, how many elements belong to set B or set C, but not set A? So again, I'm gonna put this in symbols. Set B or is the union, set C, but is the intersection and not set A is the complement of A. So let's think about that. How many do we have in B? Union C, so B union C is these two sections right here. B union C would be everything in these two circles. And then we're gonna see what do the, what does all of those sections have in common with the complement of A? Now the complement of A is outside of A. So everything outside of A, so I cannot include the three, the five, or the eight. So everything outside. So that would be the two, six, one, and seven. But what do the two, six, one, and seven have in common with what's inside here? That would only be two, six, and one. And so then I have this two, six, one, which gives me nine total elements. Now, number 13 says, how many elements belong to at least one of the sets A, B, or C? So if it can belong to any one of these, then I'm adding all of these numbers together. So nine, three, two, eight, five, six, and one, which gives me that cardinal number of 34. Now, number, I still got quite a few. Most of them is just a lot of writing that I had to do, not a lot to go over. So the Venn diagram shows the number of elements in region um, V, which is five, that's this number here. It was so tiny that I had to write it on the side. So region five is in there and the cardinal number that they gave us was six. So it says use the given cardinalities to determine the number of elements in each of the other seven regions. So it gave me that U has 44, A, the whole A, and this is A, I forgot to label that. Okay, so all of A has 18 people or 18 elements, all of B has 20, all of C has 20, all of A intersect B, so this region here has 10, A intersect C has this here, which has 11, and B intersect C is this region here, which is eight. Okay, so then in region one, we're gonna be talking about this section here. That is going to be, um, essentially you're going to be taking all of region A and then you're gonna take out what A and B have in common and then you're gonna take out what C has in common but that means you would have taken out this region twice. So you have to add it back in so that it's not taken out twice. So the numerical value for this is 18, the numerical value for this is 10, the numerical value for this is 11 and then the numerical value for section, um, and that actually should be section five, not section six. And so the, the region number for, for five is six. So when you compute all of this, you do get the value three. Now for region two, we're talking about this section here. So it's essentially the, the intersection of A and B, but take out section five. I don't know why I keep using the wrong symbol there take out section five. So this number was given to me, that was 10, and five was given to me, which is six. So the cardinal number there is four. Now for region three, that means you're going to take all of B and you're gonna take out what A and B had in common. 
you're going to take out what B and C have in common, and then you're going to take out that middle set, or you're going to add the middle section back in because you took it out twice. You took it out once for this and then once for that. So you got to add one of them back in. So we have 20, right? B is 20, A intersect B is 10, B intersect C is eight, and then add section five, which is six. Now for region four, region four is here. So it's basically this uh, intersection minus re the region five. So it's AC intersection minus the number for region five. So AC intersection is 11 minus the six is five. Now region six, which is this one here, is going to be this intersection, the intersection between B and C, take away the region five. So then I have eight minus six, which is two. Now for the last section, or no, I'm sorry, second to last is region seven. So for region seven, that's here. So that would be the value of C and then take out this intersection A and C, take out this intersection B and C, but you have to add that uh, section five back because you took it out twice. So C, take out A intersect C, take out B intersect C, and then add back five. And so then we get the 20 for C minus the 11 for A intersect C, minus B intersect C, and then add the six for five back. When you compute those, you get seven. Region eight is going to be my universal set. Or Yeah, that's the universal set. So it's basically adding all the regions together. Um, hmm. Oh, I didn't do that. What I did was I subtracted. So we know that the universal set is going to be one, two, all of the regions together, okay? So since I know the, the number for the universal set, I put that there. You know the number for region one, you just found it. You know for region two, you just found it. So region three, you found it. Region four, you found. Region five, you found. So on and so forth, all the way, or five was given. Six, we found. Seven, we found. And eight is the one we're trying to find. So I combined all these like terms and I got 35. And since I'm trying to solve for this cardinal number, I subtract 35 from both sides and I get that nine is this nine elements in this space here that's not an A, B, or C. We have two questions based off of this Venn diagram. A poll asked respondents if they agreed with the statement that colleges should reserve a certain number of scholarships exclusively for minorities and those aged greater than or equal to 20. Hypothetical results of the poll are tabulated in the Venn diagram. So here, C represents people who are less than 20 years old, B represents people that are African-American, and A represents people that agree that um, there should be a certain number of scholarships exclusively for minorities. So number 15 says, how many of those ages greater than 20, um, greater than or equal to 20 agreed with the statement? Uh, well, here's where everybody agreed, only these people are less than 20, which means these people are not. So it would be nine plus 10, which is 19. Um, again, you could put this in symbols. So, um, it would be the complement of C, right? Because of people that are not less than 20. Um, and then they agreed, so it would be A. Now, number 16 says, how many of those age greater than or 20? So you're talking about everybody outside of this circle who are not African-American. So then you're not in this circle either, okay? So that means you're either a nine or on the outside um, that disagreed with the statement. So if you disagreed, then you're not in here either. So you have to be the one. Now, 17, a poster conducting a telephone poll asked the following three questions. One, are you religious? Two, have you spent time with the person during his or her last days of a terminal illness? Three, should assisted suicide be an option for terminally ill people? 
So number A says construct a Venn diagram with three circles that can assist the pollster in tabulating the res responses to the three questions. So the three questions were religious, spent time with someone that's terminally ill, unassisted suicide should be an option. Okay. And so when you create those things, you could have these possibility of sections overlapping. Okay. Um, so there's my Venn diagram that I created. Part B says, use the Venn diagram from part A, which region represents all religious persons polled who have not spent time with terminally ill people. So I am going to be religious, but not have spent time with terminally ill people, which means I'm not in this circle. So it's just sections A and D. Now part C says, which religion, which regions represent the people polled who do not consider themselves religious, so everybody outside of this one circle, all the people outside who have spent time with a terminally ill person. So now you're talking about not religious, but have spent time with the terminally ill people and who are not in favor of assisted suicide. So you cannot be in this circle, which means the only option is to be uh, section C. Now D says, which region or regions represent all religious people polled, so these are all the religious people polled, who have spent time with terminally ill. Well, these people have spent time with terminally ill, so that would be sections B and E. Now, part E says, describe who the poll is represented by regions C, F, and E. So C, F, and E are going to be the people that are not religious, because they're not in there, right? but they have spent time with terminally ill person and they, they do agree that suicide, assisted suicide should be an option. So the thing I mentioned here is the people who have spent time with terminally ill or supported a, support assisted suicide for the terminally ill, but are not religious. Number 18, a survey of 75 college students was taken to determine where they got the news about what's going on in the world. Of those surveyed, 34 got the news from newspapers, 22 from television, and nine from both newspapers and television. Construct a Venn diagram and determine the cardinality for each region. Use the completed Venn diagram to answer the questions. So here I have A representing the newspaper people, B representing the people who got it from TV. And so it does say that all the people that got surveyed were 75. It does tell me the number of people who got the news from the newspaper, which is 34, the number of people that got the news from the TV, which is 22, and the number of people who got uh, news from both, which means the intersection, and that's nine. So if I wanna know what's in just A, I'm gonna, or what's in this section, I'm gonna take the whole 34 minus this nine to get 25. Here, I'm gonna take the whole 22 minus nine to get the 13. And then once I know what these three are, I'm gonna take the 75 and minus 25, minus nine and minus 13, and I'll get how many people are not inside the circles at all. It says, how many got the news from only the newspaper? That would be this section here, which is 25. How many got the news from only TV? That would be this section here, which is 13. How many people got, or how many got the news from newspaper or TV, that would be any of these three sections. So I added all of those together and we got 47. And how many did not get news from either newspapers or TV? That would be these, these people out here, which are 28. Now 19 says, a survey of 105 college students was taken to determine the musical styles they liked of those 46 listened to rock, 48 listened to classical, and 45 to jazz. Also, 18 students listen to rock and jazz, 21 rock and classical, and 20 classical and jazz. Finally, eight students listen to all three musical styles, construct a Venn diagram, and determine the cardinality for each region. Use the completed Venn diagram to answer the following questions. So it did tell me that all of 105 people were surveyed. It did tell me that um, the number of people that liked rock was 46. The number of people that like classical was 48, jazz was 45. Um, those that liked rock and jazz and means the intersection is 18. Um, rock and classical was 21. 
and then classical and jazz was 20. And then it said that there were students that listened to all three, so all intersections um, is eight. So I just put those values in here. I put eight, which is that little guy. Um, then CJ would be, CJ would be this whole section. Um, since that whole section is 12 and eight people are already spoken for, that means the remaining is 12. Um, R intersects C, which is this section. Again, eight are already spoken for. There's a total of 21. That means 13 need to be in this region. Um, R intersect J, which is this in here, should be 18 since eight are already spoken for. We know that number is 10. Um, and then all of J should be 45. Well, I already know that this is 10, eight and 12. So that makes up 30, which means the only remaining is 15. Um, for C, I know that this is three, 13, eight and 22. I'm sorry, 13, eight and 12. So 48 minus those three gives me 15. 46 minus 10, eight and 13 will give me 15. And then if I wanna know how many are out here, I'm basically gonna do 105 minus every single one of these numbers and the result is 17. Now, how many listen to only rock music? So only rock is going to be 15. How many listen to classical and jazz, but not rock? So here's classical and jazz, but if it's not rock, it's just 12. How many listen to classical or jazz? So both of these circles, but not rock. So none of these three circles. So that would be 15 plus 12 plus 15, which is 47 people. And then how many listen to music in exactly one of the musical styles? That would be 15 plus 15 plus 15, which is 45 people. How many listen to exactly two styles? Well, this person, the, these people listen to these two, these people listen to those two, these people listen to those two. These listen to all three, so they don't count. So it's just 13, 10, and 12 together. So 13, 10, and 12 gave us 35. And finally, oh, no, we got one more question. How many did not listen to any of the three musical styles? That would have been the ones on the outside of the circles, which was 17. And so that was the value there. Now, number 20 says, in a survey, of 250 students, 80 were taking mathematics and 80 were taking psychology. What is the least number of students who could have been taking both courses? It's very much possible that the 80 people taking math, um, oh, it says the least number. Well, these 80 could be totally different from these 80. So the answer is zero. There could be, it could be possible that none of these people um, are taking both math and psychology. And what is the greatest number of people who could have been taking both courses? Well, that would have been 80, okay? If these were not the same number, then you would have had to have gone with a lower number, okay, as the greatest. So these 80 could be these exact same 80, making 80 be the maximum. And then what is the greatest number of students who could have been taking neither course? So if I know 80 were taking this class and 80 were taking that class, whether or not they're the same or not, I don't care. Um, I can assume that they are the same so that that would leave more people not taking either of those classes. So if I assume that they are the same 80 students, um, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking 250 minus this answer. Um, and that would give me my, my people not taking either course. And so that's 170. Um, this is the end of this particular section. So I will see you guys in the next video.